up, Dragon Family? Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys, but as you can see in the thumbnail and in the title, I want to share something with you guys first. So this week I went to Marshalls and I went into their home goods section. I'm looking at the storage bins and I noticed a storage bin that looks just like the Dollar Tree storage bins. And the price tag is flipped toward me and I see $14.99 and I'm like, this cannot be the Dollar Tree storage bins. I'm like, it probably looks like it but maybe it's a better material i'm thinking this thing has to be thicker than the dollar tree ones i love the dollar tree ones that's what i have but they're thin so a dollar versus 14.99 i'm expecting something a little bit more sturdy so i get a little bit closer and i look inside of it and i move it around and it is the exact same storage bin that Dollar Tree carries except they were selling it for $14.99. I was like what the heck. Don't get me wrong. I love Marshalls. They always have amazing deals especially on their clothes like this Adidas shirt right here. If I went and I try to buy that at a sports store this would cost me easily like $24, $30. I got it for $10 at Marshalls. I was just like what in the world. I know a Dollar Tree bin when I see one. I own a lot of them. I do own a lot of the brown ones. Here's one right here and this was exactly what I saw at Marshalls. So I saw that and I chuckled a little bit because I was like, hey, hey, I see you Marshalls. I know where to get this for a cheaper price. So anyways, I go on and I look at the other home good stuff and I was in the candle section and then I noticed the Rose Collection candles. Another item Dollar Tree carries for a dollar and it was specifically my favorite candle out of the bunch, the white one, the ones that I always have in the background. A dollar at Dollar Tree and they were $5.99 at Marshalls. Man, I was like, girl, I see you. I see you, Marshall. So after seeing the candle, I was shopping with my sister, and I wanted to go get her to show her this. And um, right on the end cap, when I turned away from the candles, I see the Go Your Own Way sign that Dollar Tree carries. It has like an arrow in it, and it's either pink or blue. It was the same exact sign, same quality, and they were selling it for $6.99. And so I did think that was a little bit crazy, that Dollar Tree and Marshalls do get the same type of items sometimes. That's why you always got to keep your eyes open, even though it's kind of hard to do because it's like how many stores do you have to go to to know exactly that you're getting like the best bang for your buck. Sometimes when I go to Goodwill, the silver platters that Dollar Tree carries, I've seen them there for like $1.99. I'll see these exact silver platters at Goodwill lots of times for $1.99. It's always $1.99 and sometimes they have the tags on the back and that's how I know it really is from Dollar Tree because most of Dollar Tree products come from this brand Greenbrier International. Thought I'd share that with you guys because I thought it was kind of funny. I still love Marshalls. I do not think that it's a ripoff. Okay, let's move on to the actual Dollar Tree haul. Now, I didn't buy too many items this week. I couldn't find too many new things, but I did find a couple of things that I was personally happy to see. Now, the first items I was really happy to see at Dollar Tree this week were some new wall art boxes with different designs because they haven't had any cool new designs in lately. It's been like the same old, same old. Now, they have a bunch of different ones. I picked up three that I thought were nice. I didn't necessarily like all the art boxes that I saw, so I did pass on a few. So the first one that I liked the most is this one right here. I really really like this mint color and it says you are my happily ever after. Lots of times I will buy these and then I eventually reuse them and do a DIY with them. They're very versatile. I once used these to make a mirror shelf. I have a DIY for that if you want to check it out but I use these to make them so yeah I do really like these boxes. That's what they're called even though they're not really boxes. Anyways the next one I got says you are my happy place. I really like the ones that have that faux wood background. I wish it was real wood though. They're not gonna have that for a dollar or dollar tree but that would be awesome. Then I got this one that's really pretty. It totally matches the aesthetic behind me right now. It says you are loved. I really like the background. I actually want to take this off right now and like put it in the background. See how it looks. You are loved. The next item I got was this really really pretty gift bag. This honestly looks like a gift bag that you would buy at Target. And it just says love. I love the glitter that's on top of it. I love the colors. I love the mint green right there. I love the pastel pink, the peach colors in it. It's really, really pretty. So I bought this bag because I actually want to use it as an image. I'm going to cut it up and put it inside of a picture frame. And I think it's going to look really pretty. This next item I was excited to see at Dollar Tree last Halloween. They actually came out with these fabric treat bags and they look like pumpkins and it was like a burlap material they looked really nice well they got little Easter ones in there's four in a pack again that like burlap material and there's like twine that you tie on the top it could also be linen I'm not quite sure got a repeat buy here I bought two of these previously I decided to get another one and it's just these little eggs in this egg carton and I think these are just so nice like I love the 
colors of them. I'm not a big fan of like bright, bright Easter colors. I like the more toned down pastel colors, not like the neon type of Easter eggs and stuff like that. So yeah, bought this, gonna decorate with it pretty soon. Dollar Tree got some more Crown Jewels items in. It's basically like a stationary um, brand. So I was able to find three notepads. One of them is Crown Jewels. Um, Anna Davis for Crown Jewels, so I guess it's like a different artist. So the first one I got is similar to the notepad I got a couple of weeks back. It has this copper pineapple on it and this pastel design on it, pastel pink. So I think this one's really pretty. I really like the design of this one. Basically, it looks like wood, and again, there's copper on this, but there's like lines in the copper to make it look like wood. This says notepad on it, and both the pineapple one and this one have 50 pages of paper inside of it. Now my favorite notepad out of the three I bought is this one that says be unique. There's an image of a unicorn. This kind of reminds me of like an adult Lisa Frank. The colors aren't as bright. The unicorn isn't like as cartoony but it still kind of reminds me of Lisa Frank. This one I like a lot. Now the inside of this it's not just blank white um, pieces of paper. They have lines in them and at the bottom it says be unique on it. I thought this one was so pretty. Next item I purchased was a carrot jump rope. Not because of I'm gonna jump rope because huh, too out of shape for that. I don't even, I can't even remember how to do a cartwheel. I was talking to somebody in the comments last week about that. Like, I'm like, I try to do a cartwheel now and I just, I can't get my feet to properly go up straight. I just kind of like pounce onto the ground. I bought this jump rope specifically for the carrots. I got two more items to show you guys and both of them are pretty boring. I don't always show you guys everything I get inside of a Dollar Tree haul because I feel like, oh, I got tissue paper. It's kind of boring. Or like, I got some plastic spoons. Who cares? I only want to show you guys the good stuff. Now, there are other Dollar Tree haulers that make that look more interesting. Like, their spoons, like 45 and fab. I can watch her talk about anything all day. But me, plastic spoons, who cares? But nonetheless, I still have two boring products to show you guys. I got some pans, two pie pans, and one cake pan. I'm going to be using these for a DIY pretty soon. And then I got some over-the-door hooks. Told you all that was really boring, but I got these again for a DIY, so we'll see. I don't, I'm pretty sure the cake pans and stuff are going to work out, but this, I'm not positive if it's going to work out. But if it doesn't, hey, I can use it to hang up a coat. So that is it for this week's Dollar Tree haul. As always, I like to end my hauls with a question. And last week, I wanted to know what was that one toy growing up that you always wanted, but you never got? And looking at the comments, it was pretty clear that there were two different toys that a lot of people wanted and never got. The first one was a Cabbage Patch doll. And I remember Cabbage Patch dolls being really popular when I was growing up. And I remember like one Christmas, they sold out and like people were going crazy trying to find them for their children. And the other toy was an Easy Bake Oven. I knew so many people who wanted Easy Bake Ovens growing up. I was one of those. But I will say I tried one of the little brownies before. My friend had one and we baked it together and it did not taste good at all. We did burn it, which I'm sure didn't help the flavor of it. But yeah, it, it didn't taste good. So for this week's question, I was on my Facebook and I ran into this image. So I want to know out of these, which would you choose? So number one, you get eight hours of uninterrupted sleep every night. Number two, your house cleans itself. Number three, your kids eat everything you serve them without complaining. And number four, someone runs all of your errands. For me, one of those does get knocked out automatically and that's your kids eat everything because I don't have any children. But for me, out of the other three that are left, I would choose eight hours of uninterrupted sleep. For me, it is so important that I get seven to eight hours of sleep. I do wake up often when I sleep, but I try my best to get seven to eight hours because I'm somebody who gets really, really bad headaches when I don't get that many hours of sleep. Like if I get five, six hours, for sure I'm gonna have a headache during the day. So I always try to get seven to eight hours. So definitely eight hours of uninterrupted sleep. That would be amazing to sleep for eight hours and not wake up once. And I like running errands, I really do. And I actually like cleaning my house. I don't have kids, so I don't know how it is like having the house messy because of like somebody else. Usually I'm just the one making the mess and I actually enjoy cleaning it. I like listening to music and cleaning at the same time. I told you guys I love music so it's always on in the background especially in my house like I don't even watch TV like the main thing I do is like listen to YouTube videos and then like listen to music so definitely eight hours of uninterrupted sleep. Let me know down in the comments below which you would choose. Thank you so much for watching you guys. I will see you next time. Take care. Bye. Actually I'm going to see you tomorrow. I have a tutorial tomorrow. Forgot about that. Anyways bye. And you say, go slow, I fall behind. With the second hand on one, if you lost, you can look and you will find me. Time after time, if you fall, I will catch you.
you up and you waited. Time after time, you guys, this song is so good. And look at you with my 